A priest was showing a group of children a painting of Jesus. And he explained to them that there were no photographs when Jesus was here on earth. And so an artist would have to use their imagination in order to do a picture of Jesus. Well, one little boy in the class was studying that painting, and he said to the priest, I don't know, Father. It sure looks like Jesus to me. In today's Gospel, some people came up to the Apostle Philip, and they said to Philip, we would like to see Jesus. That has been a request of humanity ever since. We would like to see Jesus. Show us what Jesus is like. And where do I look? Where do you and so many others look to see what Jesus is like? We look to his body, the church, to show us what Jesus is like. This is our fourth annual Stewardship Commitment Sunday, four years already. And stewardship has us look at the cross. That is Jesus' commitment to us. And if we are to be followers of Jesus, we need to imitate him in his giving. That is the foundation of stewardship. Everything you and I have been blessed with is a gift. And we show our gratitude by sharing with others what we have received. Stewardship is not a program. Stewardship is a way of life. It's a spirituality for individuals, for a parish community. In stewardship, we want to use everything that we have according to the purposes of God. Stewardship involves an ongoing conversion in life. It's why we make a commitment every 12 months. And those commitments of our time and our talent and our treasure can really be life-changing events for each one of us. Last weekend, we had our ministries fair, looking at opportunities for social events in the parish, educational events, and ministerial events. You're all here. Forty-five tables of opportunity down the school corridors. And then at the very end, Saturday night, a great hot dog and chili dog evening, and all morning last Sunday, pancakes and sausage, and all of them free. And who did all of this? People in our parish. Organizations got together. People shared what they had. And you came in great numbers. That is stewardship. And it answers that question. What is Jesus like? We show each other what Jesus is like by our participation in the life of the church, which is the body of Christ. In your stewardship packets, you receive cards the green cards for the youth of our parish, the ones edged in red for the adults of our parish. There are some more this weekend in the gathering area, right beneath the Holy Family Shrine, along with some pencils. I hope you brought them with you today. I filled mine out and turned it in this weekend. And may I tell you a little bit what I was thinking as I filled out my card? because maybe that might spur some thoughts in your own life. I began, of course, with time, which is at the top of the list, because time is something that I 
never feel I have enough of. And I'll bet you're the same way. But the truth of the matter is we all have the same amount. We've all got 24 hours a day, no more, no less. So how do I spend that time? It's good for me regularly to take a look at that. And I'll tell you a little bit about some of the decisions that I've renewed. I get up at 5.30 in the morning. A sleep in morning for me is 6 o'clock a.m. The reason I do that is I need an hour with myself and God before I come here. I need to spend an hour with God before I face all of you for morning mass and activities. I probably need more than that <laughs> to do my job well. I need that time because the rest of the day I don't have as much control over. I look forward to that and I recommit myself to that. I find in the car, very often I just leave everything off except the engine. Those 10, 15 minute trips are just enough time to say a rosary or to pray or to think. I try to find opportunities during the day to come over here and make some visits to our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, to pray for all of you who've asked me to pray for you, to pray for the needs of our parish, our diocese, our church, to pray for people that pray for me, to spend time with our Lord. Once a month, I go to the Shrine of the Sorrowful Mother in Bellevue, and I make a personal day of recollection. I need time to do that so that I can be the best priest that the Lord asks me to be for you. I pray there, I go to confession, I do some thinking, and I hope that it helps me in my calling to show others what Jesus is like. Time, talent. As I look through the lists of talent in that stewardship commitment card, I'm connected with everything that goes on in our parish one way or another, sometimes in very direct ways, sometimes in indirect ways. My role here at St. Joseph's very often is like the conductor of the orchestra and chorus. I don't make the music, you do. But every orchestra and chorus needs a conduct conductor to make sure that it's harmonious. But we all have a part to play. And if any of us does not play our part, that part probably will go undone. Our time, our talent, and our treasure. I made a financial commitment to our parish for the next 12 months. I don't ask people in our parish to do what I'm not doing. I grew up in a tithing family, giving 10% away to God in charity. That's how my parents lived their lives. I learned it young. I remember receiving my allowance of 50 cents, two quarters. And I learned very quickly how to take 10% of that. Dot 05. That's what I would write on my Sunday collection envelope as a little child. I grew up like that, and it was a lesson for life. This time of year getting tax reports ready, I find is an excellent time to see how much I really gave away in proportion to what I earned, and to make sure I'm at that 10% mark, 5% for the parish, 5% to other charities, and then to make adjustments for the next 12 months. Sometimes any of us can...